What do you want to happen? I want to be at manager level, leading um, a team of a few key people, okay. maybe five key people, yeah. and have a, a growing non-manager business. That makes sense to yeah. me, a growing non-manager business. So specifically, you want to be managing five key people and the business? Yeah, will be of um, a nature where there are maybe 30 to 40 other people who are not key people but who are equally important in achieving their own, you know, working towards their goals at their pace and I will still be assisting them. Okay, brilliant. The more specific you are and things to bear in mind is we can elaborate on that first part as much as we feel that we need to. So the more specific you can be where the business is concerned, so you might look at things like turnover, staff, what you'll be doing specifically. Make the outcome very specific. What I would say, if the outcome is too difficult for a five-year-old to understand, it's too complex for the mind, be very specific. Like for example, if someone wants to lose weight, very specific, how much weight and what dress size or suit size. If they're building a business as a consultant, how many clients and how much will the people pay to see each session. The more specific you are, the easier the mind can navigate towards the outcome, which is really important. We've got to be very specific about what you want to happen. The next part, the why, is putting the ball back in the client's uh, court. Their part in achieving it. So what would you say your part in achieving this goal will be? What's your part in achieving the goal? Uh, the first part is to speak to, um, I would say, a minimum of 15 to 30 people a week. Okay. And by speak to, I mean, you know, um, people who accept to see information, to see whether there's something there for them. Okay, so yeah. To share yeah. information with yeah. them. Okay, so your part would be the first part would be to speak to, to, to minimum 15, 30 people and, and the discussion would... Yeah, to, to share the information that's okay. available and, you know, and to get either a yes, no or maybe. <laughs> okay. You know. Share info. Okay. Is there anything else that you can do or...? Uh, yes. Uh, um, Crystallise the... the plan, the weekly plan of activity, you know, where are, the, where are those people coming from, what what day-to-day -day activities am I putting in my diary? Okay, okay, so your day-to-day -day activities in yeah. your diary weekly? Yes. And, and the purpose of that would be to? To make sure that I know exactly what I'm doing each day. What are you doing every day? While I manage the time, in limited time I have alongside my job. Okay. And caring for my three children. Okay, okay. Okay. And because otherwise, you know, I find that everything else gets prioritised. Okay. And this most important goal, because this is my most important one, actually do becomes further down the pile. Okay. And, and your own part to realising it would be to speak to that 15, 30 oh, people. Yes. And then you mentioned about your weekly plan. Yes. And your weekly plan, prioritising time that you can put yes. towards getting to that goal. Um, we define it in sensory terms, okay? We process information through our senses. See, hear, feel, smell, taste, uh, AD as well, do digital. Now, it's a really powerful process by experiencing the goal. I always say to people, experience the goal or the outcome. And that's very, really powerful. There's one thing writing it down. When you experience it, there's a power in the actual experience itself. Okay, it's sort of what you do, you know, when you decide you're going to buy a new car. You actually get a feel for the car you'll be driving. You imagine yourself in the car. You imagine driving it. Or you might buy a new house or go on holiday. You experience that through your senses. And it's very powerful and very compelling in adverse to just maybe writing it down. And the easiest way to do that is by 
asking the client to close their eyes and just get a feel for what it really just close your eyes and relax and think about having the goal so you've got the goal now in the here and now you've got the goal notice what you see what you hear what you feel what it's like to achieve the goal you might want to see yourself while watching yourself on a TV screen and then moving into the screen and experiencing like it's the here and now you've got the goal 15 to 30 uh, people that you're working with you've got five key people and you've got that group of people that you're working with as well that may not be as important on a certain level but are equally important on other levels and you're running the business fully functional you've achieved all and are achieving all your targets financially the systems are all in place processes in place you're living the experience on this here and now. Okay, and you gradually come back in your own time, in your own pace. You've got to come back now. You have to come, you can't stay there. Okay. okay. I didn't think you were going to come back. I thought you were going to stay there. Yeah. Okay, what was it like to experience it? Did you, did you feel yes. fine? Yes, yeah. It's great. Yeah. And, and, and that was interesting, really, because originally, when you first came out, you said you might find it difficult to visualise it, but the key, the, the more specific you are, the easier it becomes to actually navigate your mind to, towards that. Yeah. So you, you got a feel for being there, yeah. Yeah, and that's compelling in itself, isn't it? That, that, that's a massive driver uh, in itself. Um, the ecology, and I've got a series of questions in the manual that you can work with to find out the person's ecology. The key part of the ecology is the consequences. There's a consequence to achieving any goal or any outcome. What I would say is the consequence of achieving the goal, the impact it will have in the world around you, family, friends, personally, the actual goal and the process of achieving the goal in your own mind. Is it something that you feel you want to pursue and is worth pursuing? And Absolutely, there's yeah. no doubt in my mind. Um, yeah. So if you could have reasons. it now, you would take, if you could have that goal in the here and now. Yeah. Yeah, and you're looking for that congruence. I can, I, I can only see the benefits. I mean, I can see the consequences of the fact that um, along the way, I may have to sacrifice certain things, yeah. but for the greater gain, it's yeah. very it's clear. A, it's a balancing, and I couldn't explain ecology better than that. It's a balancing act. But can the ecology stop you getting the goal? Oh yeah, very much so. Yeah. Very much so, and you save people a lot of work in doing in so, doing so. So you addressing that before you? Yeah, no. Well, well through really the exercise. Yeah. If someone comes along to you, and I'm going to explain after we've done the process, just how powerful ecology can be in certain circumstances. Definitely, if the ecology and the consequences aren't in favour of you achieving the goal, then you probably think you know what. But that was very congruent. Some people, when you talk about ecology, they're very apprehensive. I'm not so sure, and I would say, tell them to go away and think about it and talk to whoever's involved in that process, be it family, friend, or maybe take themselves away and think about it, which is key. That's really, really powerful. You'll save a lot of money and time and effort just by going through that. And your coaching session will be invaluable to them just by doing that. The final aspect is the resources and route to get there. So establishing what resources you have and what resources you need to actually get there and start building a plan towards getting there. So, Think of certain resources that you've got at the moment that can help you get to the goal. Well, I, I kind of know that I've got everything that I initially yeah. need. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't need more, but yeah. uh, to get to, to there, I, I, have, it is, I have got what I need. Yeah. I've got the right support structure. Yes. I've got the right mentors. I've got, I have got time if I manage my time. Yeah. I do feel I've got transferable. I've got the knowledge and competence. I'm not saying I don't need practice, yeah. but do you know what I mean? I know that I've got the resources. Yes, yeah. They can be improved, obviously. Yeah. But um, I, I don't think the lack of resources is holding yeah. me back. Yeah. And it's sort of exhausting, at least the resources. People are unaware of resources they might have. It could be a phone number on their mobile phone. It could be a long lost friend. It could be anything real that might come to mind. They might know someone who lives in a certain part of the world that could help them. Just really exhausting all the resources. 
So you would really explore all of those resources? Yeah, all the so options, yeah. To be more specific around what yeah, those yeah, yeah, are. yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. yeah, an exercise that we're sort of demonstrating for the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just to make a sense. Uh, no, certainly, for sure. I, I would do. I'd talk about, okay, the resources and the resources are leading to where they want to be, things they can tap into to get to where they want to get to. It could be friends, it could be family, it could be books, it could be courses, it could be anything, depending on what they're aiming to yeah. achieve, which is key. And then you can take steps towards it. And you might say to the client, the first and, and second step towards making that into a realization and think, what's the first thing that you can do as a step towards getting there? Um, and, and we could do that now. I mean, what could be the first step beyond what we've done now that could start moving it towards? Um, first step would be to contact my mentors, tell them um, my plan, my goal. Yeah, yeah. And work the first um, planning session with them. Yeah. And, and, and that's a, you know, a giant step in that right direction. You could have started with a second and a third. And you could summarise what you've covered and build an action plan and move forward from there. Definitely. How did you find the exercise? Uh, yeah, I found it really helpful actually because it's not, uh, I suppose in a way when you said I've done it before and I said I don't know, in a way I have um, attempted to you know, visualise that outcome. But I've, I've never really felt it so powerful as I did just now yeah. and I think it was maybe just...